Hello and welcome to an Envato Test Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordillo and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an online store in WordPress using the BigCommerce WordPress plugin. We'll begin by looking at what is BigCommerce as well as explaining the concept of headless e-commerce. Then we'll download WordPress plugin and create an account. In part three we'll set up our WordPress store and then we'll learn how to create and display a menu to all the store pages. In part five, we'll add some products on the BigCommerce platform. And finally, we'll see how all of this comes together. So let's begin by answering this question. What is BigCommerce? BigCommerce is an e-commerce platform that uh, powers over 50,000 small and uh, mid-sized businesses and over 30 Fortune 1000 companies like Ford, Toyota and Sony. It's a very well established company that offers SaaS e-commerce. This means software as a service. It's a model where uh, software is licensed to the user and accessed via the internet. Now, something that makes big commerce different is the headless e-commerce approach. This is a uh, relatively new approach to doing e-commerce. Headless basically means the presentation layer, which is usually your website, is um, decoupled from the e-commerce platform. In a traditional store, the store front or the front end is directly linked to the back end, which means everything is served from the same place. In a headless approach, the front end can be anywhere and connect with the back end via API. This is a more effective way of doing e commerce, and of course, there are pros and cons to this approach. If you want to learn more about it, then check out the written notes. The team at uh, Big Commerce have a white paper you can download that will uh, explain this concept in more detail. Now, BigCommerce allows you to create a storefront and manage your store just like any other platform you've, you may have used before. But because of this headless approach, you can now connect the BigCommerce backend to a WordPress frontend. This allows you to uh, integrate and customize your uh, store uh, more easily and much better than uh, ever before. And uh, all of this is possible thanks to a free plugin called BigCommerce for WordPress and uh, we're going to have a look at that next. Now to be able to replicate what I'm about to show you, you will need a working WordPress installation. I'm working locally here for this demo and I have uh, the latest version of WordPress installed which at the time of this recording is 5.1.1. Now the first step is to go to the WordPress plugin repository, uh, search for BigCommerce for WordPress. Also a link to this page can be found in the written version of the tutorial and simply download. Once that's done, go back to WordPress, go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, and then select your zip file that you just downloaded. Hit install now. Once the installation is completed, hit activate plugin. Alternatively, you could simply go to the plugins page, add new, and you can search for BigCommerce. And you'll find the plugin here and you will just hit install. Either of these ways will work just fine. The next step is to either connect an existing BigCommerce account or create a new one. So let's go ahead and create a new account. At this point, the plugin will guide us through the store setup. So let's do that. We'll begin by giving a name for our store. I'm going to call it Adi's Demo Store. I'm going to fill in the usual information here. And once we complete that, let's create my account. This will send you a confirmation email to the address that you entered. And the next step is to set up a channel. Now channels basically define where your products are sold. So for example, if you're selling your products on 
a WordPress website, that's a channel. If you're selling your products on a Facebook page, that's another channel, right? So in this step, you want to create a channel. So our channel name is going to say WordPress website. And here I have an option for automatic listing. So when I add new products on my BigCommerce backend, I can have the option to automatically add those new products to this channel. So I'm going to hit select yes here, continue. And once that is done, you will need to set up the navigation menu. So since we don't have any menus created, we're going to select create a new menu. And here you have a couple of options. You will check or uncheck these uh, boxes depending on what kind of menu items you want. So do you want the categories to be in the menu? Go ahead and check this. Do you want the brands in there as well? Maybe the account profile, order history, shipping, address, right? So you can uh, customize how your menu will look like by uh, selecting these options. I'm going to keep all of them and I'm going to click add to menu. And right now you're pretty much good to go. If you go into appearance menus, you'll find that you have the menu structure here. It's called e-commerce menu and you have all of the menu items. You can go ahead and edit this at any time. And then to add this to your front end, you would do the following. Go to manage locations. And in this current WordPress theme that we're using, we have three menu locations. So we're going to select the top menu location e-commerce menu, save changes. So now when we look at our front end, you'll see that we now have the menu added. And this is pulling uh, sample data from our big commerce backend, and it's giving us all the links we need right here. Now, if we navigate to one of these categories, you'll see that we also have some demo products loaded in. Is pretty cool. Right now we can add it to the cart and we can see our cart right here. So now that our pages are good to go and we can see some sample products, let's go ahead and add a product of our own. Now when we created the account, the BigCommerce account on the WordPress backend, BigCommerce uh, sent us a confirmation email and then it sent us some login information. After you confirm your email, uh, you'll be asked to set a new password. Go ahead and do that. And then you can log in to the um, BigCommerce platform. Now, once you're in here, you have the option to add products, delete them, edit them, and basically customize your store in any way that you want. So how would you use this? Well, it's really simple. On the left side, we have a sidebar, which takes us to the main section of this interface. We have our orders, products, customers. Uh, we can customize our storefront, and we have a couple of different options as well. So if, if we go to products, for example, we see all the products, all the demo products that are added by default. And these are actually the ones that we can see right here. So for example, if we click this product, we can find all the information about it right here. And the same product can be found on our WordPress front end. So now if we make a change to this product, and we're going to say here the perfect beach and bath towel, we'll save the change. And now if we go back to our dashboard, big commerce, you'll see that the plugin is constantly importing products and syncing products. So right now, if we do a refresh, you can see the changes that we made. So you don't have to change product information in two places. All you have to do is change it on the back end, on the big commerce platform, and those changes will automatically be um, synced with your storefront on WordPress or wherever that storefront is, which is pretty cool. That's one of the big advantages of the headless approach. So let's go ahead and add a new product, right? So we're going to click add. Is this product visible on the storefront? Sure. Product name. I actually have a um, 
demo product prepared here. This is a physical product. The price is $19. The weight, we're gonna set one kilogram. And then what categories do we put this in? Well, let's put it under, let's create a new category actually. And let's call it lifestyle. And then let's add a description. Next, images and videos. Let's upload some images. If you want, you can write a description for each image and you can also select which image is your default. Pretty cool. Next, you can add videos if you want. Let's uh, skip the product identifiers for now. Pricing, $19. Uh, tax, let's leave it at default. Here you can add variants if you want. So if you have a product with multiple colors or multiple sizes, you can add a variant to that product, which is uh, very, very interesting. Here you can add some keywords. Let's say headphones, Bluetooth, noise canceling. Uh, here we can add some custom fields. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say for example, form factor. Let's add a new one and another one and a fourth one. Show related products on my storefront, sure. Here you can add physical dimensions if you have those. Uh, shipping details, so is this free shipping or does it cost? Well, let's say a fixed rate of $5 for shipping. Then how is this product purchasable? Online store, pre-orders, or a physical store? Let's select online store. Here you have some options for gift wrapping and then some uh, SEO settings. You can add a meta here if you want and we're gonna hit save. All right, so now in the back end, if we do a refresh, you'll see that it fetches new changes. It's importing uh, the new product. So now if we do a refresh on the front end under categories, you'll see lifestyle. It's the new category that we added. And here is our new product. So we can click this to see more details about it. We can see the image gallery that we added, the title, the price, the description, and also those custom fields. Well, they are displayed here under specifications. All right, so far we created our store with BigCommerce. We uh, connected our store with the WordPress front end and we added a product. So let's go ahead and make a simple purchase to see how all of this comes together. All right, so you just landed on the store. What do you do next? Well, you can browse the categories, you can browse the different brands, or you can search for a specific item. So let's say I'm searching for headphones. So here I'm finding the uh, product we just added. I can see my product here. I can read its description and specifications. And if I'm ready to go, I hit add to cart. Then we would open our cart, proceed to checkout. Let's continue as guest. enter our shipping information. If we have a different billing address, then use that. Otherwise, use the shipping address, hit continue. And here you would enter your payment information, place order, and you're good to go. Then in the back end, you'll be able to go to orders and you'll be able to see all of your orders right here. All right, and that's it for this uh, tutorial on how to create an online store with BigCommerce and WordPress. Thank you very much for watching and make sure to check out BigCommerce.com for more information. I'm Andy Pordilla. Thanks again. Until next time, take care.